Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the vlog. Oh crap, that's a big one. Hey, good morning guys. Welcome to the vlog again. I'm back. Well, today I am going to the bank. Uh, uh, you know, do a transaction and stuff. And then just, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of hungry. So after this, we're gonna find a somewhere, you know, to eat maybe pizza. I haven't had pizza in like months. Exactly. No, I'm just, I think two months, you know, pizza. I miss pizza. So I think we're gonna get pizza. Well, not only pizza, I also miss uh, going to the boat, you know. I miss that boat, you know. Oh, if I haven't mentioned the boat, it's called Archangel. It's, you know, I don't know, it's, it's kind of heartwarming. Or, you know, you feel safe and stuff. Well, so the boat, um, watch out for that. I'm gonna go back, like, I don't know, maybe next week? Next, next week, probably. And then, uh, well, how's your day? I hope, you know, you're doing fine. You know, just, uh, again, stay sanitized and always wash your hands whenever you're outside. And bring an extra face mask again. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, and other news, um, well, <sighs> there's a thing going around like um, they're passing a bill that mm, they're gonna make bartering uh, illegal. <laughs> is kind of dumb because technically people are just ex you know trading just exchanging their stuff mostly uh, used of course I mean no one is exchanging money you know no one's really uh, gaining you know financially just you know if you have like like stuff like uh, I I don't, I don't know, just barely use a pair of shoes, for example, and then you're gonna barter it for like, I don't know, a bag and something like that. And the, uh, the government is gonna, or wants to, or I, I don't know, I haven't really been updated. You're gonna pass a bill that prevents people from doing that and making it illegal, <laughs> which is really, again, so dumb. Maybe because uh, people right now here in the Philippines, they're pushing for, you know, bartering. Which is, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's a little fun way to get new stuff with letting go with your old stuff. Without even, you know, spending money. Well, except maybe for travel and, you know, travel expenses. So what do you think? You know, really, what do you people think? I mean, bartering is a good way, especially now that, you know, there's a pandemic and people really, you know, have, of course, a lot of people are back with their usual jobs, but <laughs> I know a lot of businesses, they are cutting the time for their employees, so, you know, because uh, sales are down. Any business right now, so they're also cutting the, the hours, so, you know comes to payday and you know money is just even smaller than usual and it's really nice you know we have bartering so we'll gain something I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna barter um, stuff you can also barter food which is a plus and then our government is gonna pass a bill and just prevents that I mean like what so selfish I mean, you can't, I don't know, you can't uh, force people to buy stuff if they have no money to do so. I mean, again, lesser business, you know, people aren't, people have a uh, tougher time right now. And I think the government just, you know, should just back off and just lay off. It's just stupid. It's really stupid when people just, you know, they... Uh, 
well, it's, I, I guess it's human nature, you know, being greedy and all. Whoever you are, people, you're a bunch of assholes. That's a fact. Well, that's it, you know, for bartending. I'll talk about it a little bit. I'm just hoping, you know, maybe I should make a podcast, you know, a second channel. Just, you know, talk about stuff like this. Politics and, you know, the like. We talk about a lot of things, a lot of random things, you know. Maybe, you know, for you, a viewer, you can, you know, suggest in the comments what you want to talk about. If, if, you know, we push through the podcast thing. Which is, I think, I like, you know, I like talking about stuff. Sometimes deep stuff, you know, deep conversations are just the best, you know. So, I guess that's it. And if you want to talk about the issue with the ABS-CBN with their, you know, foreclosure. Because, you know, they can't, uh, their, the franchise is dead. And people are rallying, even though there's supposed to be social distancing. <laughs> and no one respects that. Maybe, you know, if you see commercials and stuff like that, and, you know, people just following rules in... I mean, even if it was, you know, ECQ, you know, enhanced community quarantine, people uh, really don't respect social distancing. They do if, you know, there, there's, like, police and, like, enforcers around, but mostly no. Well, um, about the... Uh, CBN. Uh, don't get me started. We can waste hours just talking about it, and it's you know mostly funny because they use uh, the church, you know, the the name of God to pursue. You know, th- this is a, a fruitful and you know righteous endeavor to to rally and you know man, begging people to, of course. Um, renew the franchise but you know if you break the rules you gotta be punished no one's above the law really and they wanna I don't know make um, going for empathy they're uh, showing a lot of things like oh the poor people and you know people lose their jobs and yes it's sad I mean that's you know but if a company itself is cheating people and you know mistreating their employees that have been there for years and then they never gave them benefits like SSS, Pag Ibig, you know, all the benefits that should really go to the people. I mean, these practices, bro. Well, that's life, and I'm talking about the issue again. So I'm gonna stop there and uh... Eight hours later. And you know, there's a party outside in my room. So... Yeah. If you haven't had dinner yet, just... You know.